welcome back. So today I'm going to bring you guys a haul video. I don't really do a ton of haul videos on my channel. Um, usually I do like my hauls and unboxings and stuff on Snapchat and Instagram. So if you guys don't have me on those social medias, all my socials are down below. Today we're going to be doing a Sephora VIP haul. I have a huge box right here full of Sephora stuff. And um, the Sephora VIB, if you guys didn't know what the VIB sale is, is um, if you spend a certain amount of money on Sephora, you become a VIB member. Um, it stands for like very important beauty insider or something like that. And they have a sale, um, I believe twice a year where it's 20% off. I used, this is the first time I've ever shopped with my Sephora VIB. I don't know why I had it before. So I restocked on some of my favorites. I'm just gonna dip, um, dip. I'm just gonna go in the box and pull stuff out and I'll tell you guys, um, I'll talk about prices and stuff. I know the Sephora VIB sale already ended, so um, I'm sorry if I'm late on that. I'll tell you guys the prices and stuff just in case you wanna purchase stuff the next uh, VIB sale and see if it's worth your money. So the first things um, that I purchased was these Urban Decay All Nighter kits and these are the All Night the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. It is my favorite setting spray ever. In my opinion, the best setting spray I have ever used in my life. It just kind of makes my makeup like all melt together and it doesn't look like a bunch of powders just thrown on top of my face. This is the one that I um currently use right now. This isn't the one that I ordered, but um this is the full size and then in these it comes with two full size Urban Decay ones, you guys. Like I was shook because I remember I went into Sephora and I, I saw these packages and I was like, these look tiny, but I opened it and then when I got the box today, I was pissed. Like I looked at the at these little boxes and I was like, wait, these are not freaking full size but they are they're, they're full size you guys this, this is the full size and this is the whoa well, and this is the other full size one that I had owned before um so it comes with one two it comes with two in each packet and the box comes with two and then the this box um came out to a total of $42 I ordered two of them so it came out to a total of $84 but I do think that this was worth every single penny because these are like literally the best setting sprays I've ever tried in my life. Give them a try if you guys have not um, yet or wait for the next VIB sale. Hopefully they still have this deal going on because this is a bomb deal you guys. Do not miss out. I can't breathe. The next thing that I got was some beauty blenders. I restocked on my beauty blenders because this is obviously what I use to do my makeup every single day. I use a beauty blender every single day and I also use beauty blenders on clients so I know these are going to come in handy a lot. Um, it comes, I got two packets. Um, each packet comes with three different beauty blenders. This is the um, Summer Fling uh, collection and this, um, each of these little um, sets came out to $49 each. I got two of them, so it came out to $98. Um, so I basically paid $100 for six sponges. I'm not sure if this is the best deal. I don't know if I would recommend that you guys go and spend $100 on sponges. Um, I don't know, I just I just really like beauty blenders. You guys could easily get the Real Techniques uh, sponges. I know, I know, uh, not Sephora. I know Ulta is having a sale, like, on, I know if you go online, they have like this big bin. Um, I think it's like 12 of uh, the Real Techniques sponges for like $40 or $30 or something like that. So these ones, I don't know if they're 100% worth it. You don't need them. It was just something I kind of wanted. I love beauty blenders. If you open the little box, the beauty blender's all squished in here, you guys. Like, it's all squished, but it, like, goes back into place. So I'm excited to be using these. I, I, I'm going to get you good use out of them because I spent my money on them. Next thing that I got was this Tarte uh, High Performance uh, Blush, like, little palette thing. So... They tricked me, you guys, because I saw, like, on the little thing, I thought it was, like, the big blush book that they have. And I, I just, I ordered it because I thought it was that one. If I would have known it was, like, this little one, I most likely wouldn't have ordered it. I mean, I still think it's a pretty good deal, though, because they're Tarte blushes, and this was $44, so, I mean, I guess it's still a good deal. Um, let me take off this little plastic. Oh, oh no, I don't want to break it. Okay. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different Tarte blushes and then two like little highlight thingies. So I do think that 
this one is worth it. I just got tricked because I thought it was a huge blush book. I got all excited because I had been wanting that blush book for literally so long. Um, I'm gonna do a couple little swatches. Wow, these are pigmented, you guys. It's just, I thought it was the big one, you know, so I was kind of disappointed. So this is, oh my god, I did the swatches so wrong. Um, so these right here is the first side of the blushes. Those first two right there are uh, in the shade Dainty and Extraordinary. And then these next two shades right here are in the shade um, Authentic and Endless. And then that last one right there, you guys can't really see it. It's in the shade Worthy. I'm going to swatch the other side for you guys. These feel really buttery. I really do like these. It's just like I've only ever used one Tarte blush before. So um, I don't really have much experience with them. They are really babe, they are really nice blushes. It's just I thought it was the big one you guys. So I was kind of like disappointed a little bit. Okay. So this is the next... This is the next uh, little side. I'm sorry that my swatches are so weird. But these ones, it's all in order. So from Angelic, Fortunate, Skillful, Exhilarating, and Whimsical. Um, that is all the blushes and the little highlighters swatch. Like I said, I do think this is worth it. I just got, like, I just thought it was a big one. So that's why I was a little bit disappointed. And then the next things that I got was I got... I restocked on my Holy Girl powder. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm guessing that they changed the packaging because this is what the packaging looks like now. And I mean, it's really pretty, but it wasn't like that before. And then if you open it up, yeah. And then this powder, because I have I've bought these um powders before. Obviously, they're like my Holy Girl, but it never came with a like nice powder puff like this. It comes with a little powder puff. The other one came with like a little wonky like weird one. Um. And then, let me see, I'm trying to see if there's any differences. I mean, I don't think the actual powder is different packaging. No, maybe like the font is different. Um, yeah, I think they completely changed the packaging or something, but this is what this looks like. This is just some translucent powder. This is my holy girl. It's never given me flashback. I use it on all my clients and I just love this powder. Um, these came out to um, these came out to forty two dollars, so eighty four dollars each, uh, eighty four dollars for both of these powders. Uh, so I do think that this is worth it because this is like my holy grail powder. Basically got it for the original price, but at, at the end it took off like the twenty percent um, for the VIB sale. And then last things I have to show you guys is I also got four of my Anastasia brow whizzes. Um, as of lately, I haven't really been using them as much, but I got four of them. Um, I got two of them in the shade Dark Brown, and then I got another one in the shade Auburn, and then the other one in the shade Soft Brown. Um, I got different colors because I use these on clients. It's just as of lately, I've been using all of the Benefit products, and I've just been loving them. It's, it's what's been working for me, so I've literally completely switched up my brow routine, but I'll still get good use out, I'll still get good use out of this. With like clients and stuff and i think i want to give one to my mom because i know she loves these brow pencils but that is all that i got in my sephora vib package you guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys are a vib member don't miss out on the 20 percent sales that they have i think for the most part i got good deals i think the only thing that i would say don't really spend your money on is maybe the beauty blenders i mean the beauty blenders are amazing but it's just I don't think that you need to spend $100 on six sponges. I just think that's like a little crazy. I just love beauty blenders. I know I'm like being all like, um, I know I'm being like a hypocrite telling you, guys, telling you guys not to do it, but I did it. But um, that is going to be it. Don't miss out on the next VIB sale, you guys. I don't know when the next one comes up. I think it's sometime next year. But I do think I got pretty good deals. Let me know what you guys would purchase for the next VIB sale. What you guys think was the best deal. In my opinion, I think the best deal was the Urban Decay or the like the little blush thing. But please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments box below if you guys liked this type of video. If you guys want more um, unboxings or more hauls and stuff on my channel. Uh, please subscribe down below if you guys have not already. Turn on your notifications. Uh, thumbs up this video. Share this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, I'm done. No.